students as the pollution becomes more and more we need some rules and regulations also okay initially when that was very less nobody bothered but then came the rules and regulations and this was put up by the national pollution board okay that's called as central pollution board they brought in some norms which all industries and vehicles and the manufacturers had to follow okay according to that there are two things that we need to know about and we have to learn one is the taj trapezium zone this is in short called as ttz okay and the second one is the delhi city model okay delhi city model okay so these are the two things that we need to learn today and uh, let us start with the ttz that is taj trapezium zone now as you see anybody even from first standard a child would identify that this is the taj mahal but as the days go by the beauty of it is completely going uh, going away and it now it is sort of just maintaining at least but it was just deteriorating at a very fast rate why the deterioration is because this is somewhere in agra agra is very close to delhi now in these places in cities like this what happens is industry started mushrooming like anything it was multiplying so fast that they let out a lot of air pollutants just around the taj mahal there were about 512 industries can you imagine so many around the taj so all these were letting out air pollutants acidic gases so especially sulfur dioxide now this sulfur dioxide contained a high concentration of sulfur okay when sulfur and sulfur dioxide were very high all these acidic gases and this is built on marble marble is nothing but calcium carbonate now that calcium carbonate is eaten up or just corroded by the acidic gases like sulfur dioxide so that is what happened so this central pollution board they came up in about i think 1996 they came up with something called the taj trapezium zone which covers an area of 10500 square kilometers in and around the taj mahal in the shape of a trapezium see this is the shape so this is the shape and this covers many monuments including three heritage sites one is the taj taj mahal agra fort okay and fatehpur sikri so these are the three heritage sites and in addition to the three heritage sites they also ha they have included nearly 40 protected monuments in this trapezium alone in this zone alone there are 40 protected monuments now having drawn this trapezium zone they have come to three important points that they need to follow one is there should be the industries should stop using should stop usage of coal or coke in their industries what happens is this contains a fairly large amount of sulfur and when coal or coke is burnt sulfur is also burnt and sulfur dioxide is emitted okay then there is also relocation of the industries which are very close or which are in this area the third one is 
creating a green belt around the Taj Mahal. See this green belt makes wonders. Sometimes in your own homes, if there are no pots, no plants, all the dust on the road would be on your in your house. But when you have plants, the plants absorb all the dust and the dirt. Actually, they act as shields or barriers which can just absorb all the dust and the dirt to a certain extent. And not only that, it will also improve the aesthetic value. It will give so many things. It give, takes up the carbon dioxide. It gives out oxygen and so many advantages in this. Okay, So, green belt is very important and relocation of the industries and they should stop using coal or coke. Now, there was one major uh, industry that was very close to the Taj Mahal and that was the Madura oil refinery. And these people knowingly or unknowingly were emitting a lot of sulphur dioxide. So, what happened? They themselves came to a conclusion that they would reduce okay sulfur dioxide emissions will be reduced how to reduce the sulfur dioxide emission when they use they will use only good quality sulfur so when they use good quality sulfur then automatically sulfur dioxide is brought down they would also use technical devices to trap the acidic gases they will use that and not only that, they will monitor, constant monitoring will be there on the emission of the sulphur dioxide. As a result, what happened was the sulphur dioxide emission came down drastically from, uh, so that uh, uh, from the dangerous zone, it came down to a much lesser amount however all these industries which are still emitting have been asked to relocate and then a green belt has been built up so that we would protect the Taj Mahal also the other in, uh, monuments that are around the Taj Mahal so that's about the Taj trapezium zone next we move on to the Delhi city model So, we move on to the next one that is the Delhi city model. Actually, in the 1990s, Delhi was very highly polluted. That was a time when industries were flourishing and the vehicles were more and the population was more. The urban people were just going into urbanization. So, people from the villages and the other places were just rushing into the, getting crowded into Delhi for jobs. So, automatically the pollution became really more and the air was highly polluted. Okay. So, uh, in 1996, almost the same time as the Taj trapezium zone was installed, this also, 1996, the Supreme Court ordered Delhi to have only CNG vehicles, okay, to ban all other fuels but to use CNG. So, a fleet of CNG buses were introduced in Delhi. Even till date, they have the maximum number of CNG buses and these CNG buses, they are run on compressed natural gas. CNG means compressed natural gas and this contains 80 percent methane So, the pollutants that it gives out is very less, okay. There is absolutely less pollutants here and also there is, uh, but the disadvantages uh, are also there. Anyway, let us see the advantages first. Less pollutants meaning major concern is about carbon monoxide. See, it is a competitor of oxygen. So, if carbon monoxide increases, it is highly dangerous. In the place of oxygen, we will be inhaling carbon monoxide and it will result in carbon monoxide poisoning. Now, this carbon monoxide emission was reduced by 50 percent. 
so only half of the carbon monoxide was emitted so it came down by 50 percent similarly there was something else called hydrocarbons apart from methane there are so many other hydrocarbons these are generally called as hc this also was reduced by 50 percent by 40 to 50 percent so see here this is a major advantage okay so the poisonous gases the hazardous pollutant gases are all reduced by using compressed natural gas but the disadvantages is when you use a gas vehicle okay the storage space becomes less space is less and the pickup speed is also less is less less mileage is given so these are some of the disadvantages however in a city when there is so much of hazard see sometimes very often we come across the pollutant level going beyond what is needed and because of that schools are shut children are affected by lung problems so they don't they don't come to school schools are shut and they have to stay inside till the pollutant level comes to permissible levels okay so because of that it's definitely better to use cng in the place of other fuels so with this we finished the case studies on legislation on the delhi city model and the taj trapezium zone and a few more about the satellites we'll see in the next video